Uh, Three, two, one, go! Hi guys, this is Missy J and welcome back to my channel! So today, we're gonna watch Uncle Roger try the hottest chili in the world! Now, I don't know how he can hold his spices, but we will find out today! Alright, let's see! Uncle Roger's favorite hobby is getting diarrhea. Let's do this! <laughs> diarrhea! Hot guys! What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Hot Guys, but we're stuck at home. Yes, it's still MCO. I have no idea what's going on, but hey, Brendan, how are you holding Hot up? So guys. far, so good, man. I mean, married life is awesome, bro. I mean, uh, or I think, I think everyone guys. should be married. I think I want to encourage everyone that you guys, if you guys get married, get married sooner than later. So within the first week I got married, uh, I'm not kidding at all, right? And uh, Jean calls me up. The first thing this joker calls me, he literally calls me, Hey Brandon, I was like, hey, what's up, bro? So how was <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a very special episode because a lot of people have asked us to do this episode. I am super excited, bro! He is finally back in his Tana Ai, his motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Uncle Roger! Yeah! Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Brenton, why you get married? Hi, uh, <laughs> Uncle Roger pitch about Auntie Helen every week, Joe, and you still go and get married. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Roger. I just wanted to have my own nieces and nephews, so. What? Uh, you you get married to have nieces and nephews, Brenton? Yeah, you get married to have nieces? Why are you talking? Oh yeah, sorry, I, get, I got married to all the gifts from Ma. You know, it's more blessed to give than to receive. This nephew, Brenton, get married all the wrong reason. Uncle Roger, yeah. welcome back to Malaysia. Have you missed Malaysia or not? Miss, miss Malaysia so much because British food cannot, not edible. So tasteless. Thank you for coming on to Hot Guys, by the way. This is not your average food show. So you're trying out hot extra guys. spicy, mm. mala, I'm still waiting crazy for the hot guys. bowel intestine burning food. Are you excited? Are you ready, Uncle Roger? Okay, okay. Uncle Roger's favorite hobby is getting diarrhea. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Sun Fat Rice. I'm uh, Shen. Uncle I literally have one friend who can eat fried rice every single day without fail. So whenever people ask us in the office, what do you want to eat? I'll say, well, I, I'll say I don't know what I want to eat. And then... Without him even saying anything, we know he wants fried rice because everything is solved when he has his fried rice. So every time we go to a hawker stall, we'll all order different different things all the time. And when he sits down, we won't even need to ask him because we know he ordered fried rice all the time. Anyone out there a fried rice fanatic like him? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Oh, look at Roger, that fried what do you rice. Think about this fried rice. This fried rice look okay. The color good, the nice egg, and also they use shrimp, which is the most expensive protein. This fried rice really fancy. And what's the best part about this char siu fried rice? Like, fancy, the fancy. That comes with it. Okay, you're not allergic mm -hmm. to anything, right, Uncle Roger? Because you know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> allergy only for weak people. I love how he mentioned Weak shrimp people. is an expensive protein. What else you think expensive? Young people and their wagyu beef high, uh, wasting money. I was supposed to have my shrimp, but uh, apparently my mom decided to steal them. Oh man, it's okay, Auntie Dory will forgive you. Uncle Roger forgives you as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gave birth to Jin. You deserve to steal all his pawn. 
steal all his what? Mm. Prawn! Prawn! Oh, I heard, I heard, I heard something else. Ay, uh, why you think so dirty? You just started having sex brain already so dirty. <laughs> and here we go. Mmm, it good. Texture, very good. A lot of wok hay. They are actually a very small store and they use the wok. You know, it's completely seasoned. They probably use it for like multiple of years. You know, the wok hay is so strong and you throw anything on it, right? The aroma is just amazing. Exactly. The wok mm. never been washed before. Passed down from Song Dynasty. Some of them, like when they put the egg inside, right? You can't really taste the egg one. The egg is like there for pie lang one, just for decoration. But this one, the egg actually got taste also. What if this fried rice actually goes to UK? Do you think they'll make a lot of money? It's British people don't really care about food, they won't appreciate. British people eat fried rice from pouch, microwave, and they eat, and they think that's acceptable. But Uncle Roger say, that food for animal. If your food comes in pouch, <laughs> you fucked up. Uncle Roger, are you able to find like really, really great fried rice all the way in the UK? Most fried rice in UK, they don't use enough soy sauce. The rice come out, it still look white. They too stingy, hiya. Sometimes their rice too wet, sometimes their rice too dry, but this one rice perfect. Wow, not bad, huh? So does this get the uh, seal of the for Uncle Roger? No? Definitely, yes. Uncle Roger approved. My name is Hafiza. Tiga Budak Gemuk. Tiga Budak Gemuk is owned by my nephew and my nieces. Uh, we can say that we are the pioneers of the ayam kicap. The recipe is actually from my sister. Gemuk is fat. So she always cooked this Very for fat. her children when they were younger. We really, really emphasize on three freshness and fat on kids. the quality. It takes about two to three hours. Oh, look at that actually, sambal. Actually, uh, consists of three types. Chili kampung. Chili merah and chili hijau. I think the chili is our signature lah. This, this Ooh, is the thing that really blends well. Look at that, so I'll go Roger. Do you guys like spicy food? Because I am just drooling looking at it. Because I love spicy food. Mm. I just need to let you know that uh, just now the fried rice, that was nothing, okay? It's not even spicy. That was just an appetizer. So this today... Wait, so they just had fried rice and now they're having nasi ayam. And now they're having chicken rice with sambal. Wow, these people have very big appetites. Mm. Mm. It is the main cause. What do you think of the chili? This chili, you smell He's it sniffing. goes straight up your nose. Sniffing Remind Uncle chili. Roger of other things Uncle Roger sniffed before. Uncle Roger, what did you sniff? My favorite white powder. MSG. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I was about to say, like, kids below, like, 21, please just turn off your videos right now. Ready? 3, 2, 1, and... Uh... It could um, very spicy, but taste really good. <laughs> I'm good. Just the chicken not to have cry. a bit of sweetness. Counteract the spice. The sambal sauce, when you taste it, is like nothing. Then it just slowly creeps Brandon's up. Brandon's going the down. Uncle Roger only eat like one rice grain <laughs> worth of chili, and I already struggling. Uncle Roger gonna take another bite. Ha! Huh? Brandon, what? Come on, one more, Brandon. <laughs> is Uncle Roger? Oh, he's taking another bite. Ah, uh, darn it! People are studying in Zhonghua all over achievers. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> All these Chinese people uh, study Chinese school. Uh. Just because you pussy, don't blame <laughs> on Uncle Roger education. Uh, mm. Man, don't get me wrong, it tastes really good. The chicken, like Uncle Roger said, you can taste the flavor, the ketchup inside. It could, it could. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Roller coaster, all close. This is the only You can way see Uncle, Uncle Roger Roger's lip turning red. But now, uh, Uncle Roger, I heard you gotta go, it's very spicy. Yes, Uncle Roger busy. Too bad I gonna miss seeing nephew Benton <laughs> suffering. This is so entertaining. Oh, you monkey backside. <laughs> but who's coming on in your place though? Don't worry, it I is. have my nephew Nigel coming. He likes spicy food also. Nephew Nigel, your turn. Come over here. It's nice to have nephew Nigel. Nigel! What's up, Nigel? How you doing, buddy? Hey guys, I'm good. How are you guys? Thanks for having me. How long are you gonna be back here for, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I bought a one-way ticket and then I just stay here until I uh, get sick of Malaysia and then I'll go back to you. Get sick of Malaysia? Brother <laughs> Nigel? Kidding, get kidding, sick of Malaysia. Kidding. So alright, in this segment over here, uh, it's very simple. You know, we got some uh, actually Chinese New Year snacks over here. Uh, I'm not sure if you basically heard of uh, Lotus Root because if you haven't, my friend is going to explain how. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm uh, the founder of The Swimming Cow. We are basically a casual modern dining restaurant 
which emphasize on a very uncommon uh, cooking technique known as uh, sous vide. All this while, we have uh, the lotus root chips on our menu. Uh, the flavors start off with the uh, original, one. and then uh, we have the truffle and the mala flavor. Mala basically oh, is the Sichuan spicy. pepper you get in a hot pot in all the Chinese restaurant. So we decide to put it the real cake in it, like how Ooh. the Chinese in China would enjoy it. We decide not to do the normal uh, spicy level assimilation. You know, we almost of us can take pretty good heat of uh, spiciness. So yeah. So we have the yeah. normal version, <laughs> and we have the extra mala over here. Check out the color of the oh. tissue paper. <laughs> I think Brandon's gonna die eating this. <laughs> Let's try the not so spicy one first. Yeah. Um, I'm very sure this is gonna be just as spicy. Really? Okay, we're just gonna take one bite. Ready? Tastes good. Yeah, you're right. Really nice. Sichuan, Sichuan pepper. Yeah. yeah, it's not spicy. Yeah. Even Brandon's handling it fine. So. This can get very, very addictive, I tell you. And once you stop eating, you can start to feel your back of your tongue getting a little bit numb. You, you're such a weak thing, you know, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I live in the UK and I still eat like spicier stuff than you. If that didn't kill any of you, I think we're going for the spicy extra malak one. It's written there EM. But I don't think this is for sale, but they're just doing it just for us because they understand that, you know, we have really high tolerance of spiciness because we are hot guys. Ooh, oh, the moment I God. open it, like the, the, the spice just wafts into my face. Do you guys not feel the numbness in your tongue by, by now? No, no, no stop <laughs> bringing up the numbness. Okay, don't okay, feel okay, it. okay, Jeez. okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Brandon's a weakling. Anyone? Anyone feel this pain? Anyone feel this? No? <laughs> anyone, anyone? Let's do it, ready? Okay. In three, two, one. Wow. That's I feel they crunch. brushed it the extra layers of that powder. Of the oh, powder. I wanna I taste powder, it too. Yeah. It's good man. Oh, wow. Do you guys really not feel the numbness at all? <laughs> Just feel the num do you feel numbness? Do you feel feel it? Do you, do you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> when you think this is over. Laugh some more. I guarantee that you can't laugh after this. What is that? That's this is basically a bunch wow. of like, chips basically Ripper made chips. with Carolina Reaper. Even the packaging looks illegal. There's no nutritional information, no <laughs> ingredients, nothing on the You package. don't need any There's ingredients? There's no phone number to call. I don't even know who made it. It could be the videographer Devin making it. A producer trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. Trying to take Jin's YouTube money. Oh my <laughs> god, guys. Did you? Can you smell it? This is ridiculous. Uh, oh no. Brendan's oh. gonna die. Oh. Oh, oh, dude. Oh. Oh. It smells they look like they're smelling It smells sour. It smells like yeah. detergent. Yeah. Devin, did you did you you try this? Does it actually taste good? Oh. Good luck. I kind of want to think about it. I don't think I want to do this. Yeah, we're we all gonna die. We have to do this. Let's take a small oh. small piece, maybe. Okay, a small tiny bite. Tiny bite. Dude, okay. Thin. One bite, not not the whole thing. I'm not gonna eat the no, whole no, thing. No, 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 no. Write your will down first, Brendan. Write your will. <laughs> I'm gonna say a little prayer. Oh Lord, please bless my bowels, God. I think the Lord's too busy to worry about two, three YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pop this whole thing into my mouth. So I think we do it all. We just pop everything into our mouth. The whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. The whole, the whole thing. thing. Just for your information, right now, this is basically wow. a potato chip doused in. Carolina Reaper, which is the hottest chili in the whole Ouch. wide world, guys. Uh, Three, two, one, Painful. and go! Just eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, oh my god. My stomach oh. hurt. I touched oh. my nose too, so now my nose is stuck. Uh. If, you have, if you have milk, if you have milk, you should take milk. I just hope oh. we don't lose Uncle Roger, we don't lose Nigel after this. Like, I said, what tiny bite? Some, uh. some <laughs> idiot decided to go, no, you can do the whole thing. You don't want to be worse. To be honest, nobody should actually buy this packet no, of chips to try, which. 
We've tried it here, you see it, it's really bad. There's this thing called the Pakui chip, I'm not sure if you guys have actually heard about it, but that is so bad that some people have to be admitted to the hospital just because it's too spicy. Wow. Now, I, now I'm just feeling it in my in my mouth and in my nose, that's it. Dude, I honestly thought I was gonna meet my maker just now, dude. <laughs> oh my god. But this is even worse than the Carolina Reaper burger that we had. This is worse, this is actually worse. I wanted to vomit. But uh, with that, I just want to say, <laughs> Nigel, we're sorry. thank you so much. Not we're thank sorry. you, we're sorry, dude. We hope that we're still mates and friends after yeah, this, it's okay. bro. I'm almost over it now, it's getting manageable now. It's good. Dude, thank you so much for being a sport uh, and joining us yeah, for man. this episode of Hot Guys. Of course, yeah. It's really amazing, number one, to see a fellow Malaysian breaking waves all around the world, not just in our own country, but all around the world. Wouldn't be here without all of your support, so thank you to you guys too. Uh, the rest of you, we hope that you guys enjoyed Uncle Roger joining us on the show, nephew Nigel's with us, you know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section below. Check out Uncle Nigel and Uncle Nigel's uh, uh, Facebook page, YouTube page. Make sure you follow him on Instagram as well, Mr. Nigel Ung. And of course, again, from all of fellow Malaysians over here, as long as we keep supporting each other, we're making waves all around the world. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye. <laughs> So that is it. That is Uncle Roger and Nigel only having the hottest chili in the world. Oh my god. Did you see his sweat just dripping down his cheekbones? Oh my god. Will you guys ever try that Carolina chip thingy? It's... It looks too spicy for me. But if you're daring, go get one and try it. And let me know in the comment box because I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. Whoops. Wuss. I'm a wuss. I admit it. I can't even pronounce the word whoops. 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 Anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. And thank you guys so much for all your support. And don't forget to share it with your friends. So that is it. Bye bye. Wait, wait, wait. So they just had fried rice and now they're having nasi ayam. Wow. Wow. I mean, these guys might as well be fat guys instead of hot guys.